How is it going everybody Mr Android here Welcome back to a brand new video on this channel Well finally Samsung has released the One UI 7 beta and since I have the Galaxy S24 Ultra I got a chance to try out all new exciting features that Samsung has added with their latest One UI 7 Guys I really liked what Samsung did with this major update not only they have added amazing new features but also made some visual changes and worked on the animations as well So with that said in this video let's check out all the new One UI 7 features and changes along with those buttery smooth animations so stay tuned and watch this video until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys first let's start off with the lock screen when i go into the lock screen customization page here on the One UI 7 we've got a new layout with two different tabs one is to change the clock font and color There is also this slider by using which you can adjust the font width but for some reason this slider doesn't work in the first beta then there is a separate section to change the clock style and the position there are also a couple of new animated clock styles which not only look cool but also have this beautiful transition from the always on display to the lock screen apart from this we also get this all new suggestion feature which will provide you with some beautiful lock screen customizations depending on your current wallpaper So when you don't have enough time but still want to customize your lock screen then you can definitely make use of this suggestion feature which is now available on the One UI 7. Now let's talk about one of my favorite One UI 7 features which is the now bar. When you play any music on your phone you can see the now bar in the lock screen with the music controls. When you tap on it you will get a bigger preview with the new album art that actually looks really cool on the lock screen. I also like this new animation and I think this is one of the best visual changes Samsung has made with the One UI 7. Now bar also works for other activities like voice recordings, timers, maps and even for the Bixby routines. The best part is you can swipe over different activities on the lock screen and it also shows up in the status bar. So when you tap on it, it gives you more controls. Unlike Oxygen OS or other Chinese skins, I like how Samsung has not entirely copied the iOS Dynamic Island feature. Instead they created something different and in my opinion it's going to be more useful than the dynamic island. Now let's talk about the home screen. Here we have got so many changes and the first thing you'll notice is the brand new redesigned icons. So every single stock icon has been refreshed and if we compare them side by side with the One UI 6.1 you can see there is a subtle difference and it kind of matches the new One UI design language. Honestly they do look nice and I think this was a much needed update because the icons were starting to look old and dated compared to other Android skins. Not only they have redesigned the app icons but we also get some new beautiful looking widgets in One UI 7. When I long press go into the widget section The first thing you'll notice is that the widget panel now looks more modern and clean where we have all the recommended widgets at the top. Most Samsung widgets have been updated with the new design. As you can see the battery widgets, calendar, camera, clock, weather and even the device care widgets have got a new design. Apart from this, there are different sizes available for you to choose from and you can even resize any of the widgets directly from your home screen. All these widgets have more customization options compared to One UI 6.1 and when you go into any widget settings you get the option to change the shape and redesign every single element as per your need. Samsung has finally given us the option to enlarge app folders in the home screen. So now you can directly access any application without having to open the folder first. Next if you go into the home screen settings there is this new option called app and widget style where you can quickly resize the app icons and widgets that are on the home screen. You can also hide the app and widget labels if you want to. So now we can customize all these home screen settings without having to install the Goodlock app on our phones. Apart from all this, One UI 7 also brings some changes to the app drawer. First, we have the search bar at the bottom and this makes it way more handy especially when you have phones like the S24 Ultra. Here if you tap on the three dots button and select alphabetical order, you will have access to the vertical app drawer which we all have been waiting for on Samsung phones. But if you're someone who doesn't feel so comfortable and want to go back to the horizontal view, then you can set it as custom order. Next up, let's talk about one of the major visual changes of One UI 7 and that has to be the quick settings panel. First thing you'll notice here is that the notifications and the quick settings panel are now separated. You can swipe from anywhere for notifications and to open the quick settings, you need to swipe from the top right corner. You can even switch between them by swiping like this. If you don't like this particular change, 
you can go inside the panel settings and there is an option called combined notifications. Apart from this, the quick settings panel has a more modern look with rounded corners and now there are two separate sliders. One is for the brightness and the other one is to control the volume levels. The best part is that it gets more customizable where you can change the position and rearrange these panels as per your need. For example, let's say if you want this Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggle at the bottom for easier access, then you can do that as well. You can also edit the tiles, add more toggles to the quick settings and if you swipe down, you get access to all the tiles like this. The media panel also looks good and if you look here, we have the option to play the last song which can be useful at times. Overall, I really liked how Samsung has redesigned the quick settings page and made it more efficient than the previous version. With One UI 7, Samsung has also added this new AI feature called Call Transcripts and you can enable this by going into the phone dialer, tapping on this three dot button and here we have this brand new feature that says Call Transcripts. The AI will automatically transcribe all your recorded calls for you. Again a very useful AI feature which is now available on Galaxy devices. Apart from this, they have also redesigned the writings tool menu. As you can see, we have this new gradient design with some cool animations when using the AI tools inside the Samsung keyboard. Next, the camera app in the One UI 7 looks a lot cleaner compared to One UI 6.1. As you can see, all the controls are now hidden inside this panel and it doesn't appear all the time right in front of you. Not only this, even the other elements in the camera UI has been updated with a much cleaner look and there are a couple of handy camera features as well. For example, this new option in the settings called audio playback lets you record video while the music is playing on your phone. There is also one visual change when you open the recent apps menu. It's got a new 3D layout which I think looks really really good. And again you don't have to use good lock for this. It's the default recent page you'll be getting in the One UI 7. Now it's time to show all the animations one by one. Honestly, I was expecting a lot from One UI 7 when it comes to animations. And since it's just the first beta, I think it is living up to the expectations. I mean, just look at it. Everything looks way better and smoother compared to One UI 6.1. When opening and closing applications or opening widgets and going back to the home screen, everything feels a lot smoother. And also there are some new animations like the charging animation, the home screen battery animation, and even when switching apps from the recent page, it really looks so smooth and you'll surely notice a huge difference coming from One UI 6 or older versions. I'll be making a lot more videos on One UI 7 and try to compare these animations with other Android skins so stay tuned for that. But as of now I would say Samsung has done a great job with One UI 7. Not only do we get some amazing features but they have also improved the animations and the overall smoothness. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.